everybody and welcome to the first official video for Jurassic World Dominion's DLC for the Biosyn expansion in Jurassic World Evolution 2 and today I'm just on the Biosyn map as you can see with this massive building which looks pretty much exactly as it did in the movie only missing thing is like there's no waterfall here going down into this pool but you know really awesome also i just figured out how they actually got in they do get through through this gate so that explains what this entrance is for which is nice they explain that but today we are not doing the campaign or the chaos theory because i actually don't have the time to record those and then get this out but today we are doing first the showcase of all the new dinosaurs and skin variants for example we got the dilophosaurus we've got dimetrodon we've got dreadnoughtus giga all of the bunch and also we're going to compare some of them and see if we can find any some some unique animations. We will do each of these new dinosaurs separately in their own videos, but you know, for now we'll just take a look. And I'm going to start off with probably the least exciting of the bunch, unfortunately, which I think if I'm not mistaken, the, yep. Okay, so first we're going to release one of the original Dilophosaurus and compare, see how different they are, and we are doing this for each of them. So, let's get a look at- oh, the- the concrete is glitching over there. I can see it. So this is a 1993 version of the Dilophosaurus. Which already I can tell the- fr the frill's gonna be very, very different and stuff. The body I'm not sure- oh, whoa. Okay, the lighting just changed. I have it set to only day, but, uh, that's weird. So yeah, the- Take a quick look at it to see how it is, and then we will compare them. Which, let's just grab the other, which we have eight of, because, you know, Max Hatchery animation. Let's see how different it looks in the 22 version. Well, it's- whoa. It's looking quite darker. And I'm not just talking about the light, it's actually looking darker. Yeah, like, if you look at the frill- hold on, let's just pause. Oh, that's a nice spot. Yeah, look at the frill, it is more of an orange- more of an ambery look to it, which, kind of nice. I'm pretty sure this is the same, like, model and stuff, you know, in the movie as well. They just changed the skin color a little. And the back is actually completely different. If we, um, go and find this one... Yeah, like, this one, you can definitely see all the spots with the white line outlining them. But for these ones, no, they're actually quite Oh, they, Well, they're molding into each other. They're becoming one. But yeah, they are actually a lot more different than I thought. And, ooh, I don't know which one I prefer. I think, I think I actually prefer the darker look of these ones. Like, you know, I don't know. It's already growing on me a lot. Like, I like the color of the frill a lot more. Also, Camp Cretaceous is also going to have a pink Dilophosaurus, so who knows what's going to happen with that, but, you know, it's a nice addition, though unfortunately not one we were really excited for because it was, it was pretty much the same, but moving on to the next one, we are doing our first brand new creature, and I say creature because it is not a dinosaur, it is a Dimetrodon, which I accidentally had two batches, but we'll release just one, and we'll see how small these guys are. Oh, look at them run. Oh, that's so good. Ooh. Oh, I like the... Oh. oh, yeah, I have commentary turned on for this. You shit your pants. Very true. But, I gotta say, Dimetrodon is such, like, it looks so different from everything else that it's gonna be amazing to use in the parks. We finally have a non-dinosaur thing that, apart from, you know, aquatics and pterosaurs, but this guy just really is nice. It's a shame we still don't have Lystrosaurus yet, because, like, it should have been in this DLC, but, you know, we'll probably get it sooner or later, but, oh, I just love, I love this design and stuff. I've seen some of the other skins, like the, 
regular skins. This is the Dominion version, and so far the Dominion version looks the best. I love the bright red. Also, it's very different from, you know, the weird concept art that had it, like, as a blood red body and a green sh sail. That was a weird one, I'm not going to lie, but this one looks really nice, and I love the head. Hope there's actually a skin that could, you know, reference walking with dinosaurs, I mean, walking with monsters, but, yeah, this, this... See, even he agrees. He's like, make me walking with dinosaurs, please. Dreadnoughtus, which this should be the um, original, as you can see on the model there. So let's take a look at this one first. And then, you know, we'll compare as well. Ugh. It's not the face that many people love on this one. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they did say that it's supposed to be that the new Dreadnoughtus model is supposed to be, like, massive in comparison to this. So, I, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, can you blame it? Okay, we'll need to fast forward so you can get out of the way because, you know, we kind of have to let your friend out. What, what are you doing? Also, I just want to say thank you, um, Frontier, for adding invisible fences. Even though there is an obvious line here for them, it is still really cool because then you can have some amazing enclosures. And also, you could have a Biosyn Sanctuary without any fences, really, but you do. That's really good. Now, let's release the new version of the Dreadnoughtus. Okay, wow, that's way different. Oh, look at those feet, the detail on them. Oh, I like the, I love the new call, actually. That's nice. Oh, that is beautiful. One of the coolest, um, sauropod colors. I love the dark blue with those veins of, like, brown. Now, let's see, in comparison... Eh, I think this one's... This one is still taller, but I think this one overall is bigger than this one. Anyway, I'm still gonna use this one a lot more, because it's a much more beautiful design. I love the dark color of it, and it stands out. Now, let's get a close-up of your face, please. Let's see, how does it look? Oh my god, that eye is just like... That's terrifying, actually. That eye is just like... <gasps> soulless. But, you know, it works for what it is. Now, we just don't... If only we could have really deep water, and then we could have that shot of you in the movie. Yes, we could. Or, you know, if we put you in the Biosyn Dome, which I don't even think we can. It's out of the ma map's boundaries, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, whatever. But, we'll just let you go, because you are just gorgeous. And what's next? Oh, we're gonna save you for later. And what do, what do we have left? We have... Okay, so we're gonna do the Parasaurolophus, which this is the original Parasaurolophus. Which is supposed to be, like, sort of the Jurassic World version. Even though it's very similar to the, um, Lost World variant. Very nice, very clean. Okay. Oh my god, look at the size of the It's so small. Oh, I can D Did you just step on this guy? Ah, oh, rude. I wonder if they can kill goats, actually. I mean, I doubt it. I doubt they could outrun a goat. But, oh my god. It's so weird. The Dilophosaurus are like the same height as these guys. It's weird. Now we have three new variants of the Parasaurolophus. Each are supposedly from the movie, or at least the first two are. The third one is sort of a mix of them, if I'm not mistaken. So let's take a look at first the blue Parasaurolophus, I believe. Yep. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, they have their movie calls. Nice. Oh, and they are loud. 
Okay, well, I can definitely say this is definitely one of my new favorite, like, designs for the franchise. The bigger beak, the, um, new colors, it might even rival the Lost World Para, actually, I'm not gonna lie. But, speaking of which, let's look at the Lost World Para, but having this new model of the body. You know, I wish we were on the other side with the light. Ooh, very nice. Oh, we got a, someone just blocking through camera. Of course, thank you. Thank you, Parent. Now get your tail out of the way. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is just... That is good. So, yeah, it is the Lost World one a little bit darker, actually, than I remember. I'll probably have to pull it out later, but not bad. I really I still think the other one's better, but, oh, Jesus, gorgeous. Like, I love the simple remodeling of, like, the beak and the little knob at the on its crest. Oh, I like it, actually. It's... It might have become one of my top... It's Parasaurolophus is one of my top dinosaurs, but it might be even higher. Oh, yay, we get good lighting this time for the third one, which is a mix of both. Oh, yeah, it's a way mix. It's getting really loud, guys. Noise. Not bad. It, it could be better, in my opinion. Like, you know, it's... Well, it's kind of supposed to be a mix of, like, these ones. But this one's just... I just love this one. And it is getting really loud over there. No wonder he's lying down by himself. Although they're all coming towards him. They're like, stay with us. Be one of us. And he's like, no, I'm gonna rub my face into the dirt. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. He's just rolling in the dirt. Oh, he looked at the camera. He's like, nobody saw that, did they? Nope, nope. We weren't looking, Mr. Para. We we were good. We were good. He he was, oh, he's running. He's like, nope, I'm not going near that Dimetrodon. Ooh, could they even, oh, wow, they're all watching. They're like, Para meat, it is ours. Well, not really. Now, moving on to the... Pyroraptor after that guy runs out of the way. Let's take a look at this fierce feathery raptor. Oh, ho, 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 that is awesome. Look at it spread its wings. Oh, yeah. I, I, I never thought we would get feathers, guys. Oh, yeah, it's got feathers. What? What the hell did he say? Huh, really? Uh, a f natural fire is what found the caused this guy to be found in fossils? Well, that's... No wonder he was named Pyroraptor Jesus. And, well, actually, yeah, this... I love... I know a lot of people don't really like the head of this guy. I disagree. Like, the only thing I would change for it, really, is maybe folding in the lip a little bit more. But... And maybe the eye actually could turn into more of a bird-like eye. But, you know, it's a really beautiful design. I love the feathering and the look. And you can see them all move, even though some of them are clipping in. But... That's probably because there's maybe a few glitches. I can see it, like, not rendering properly right at the neck and stuff. But, you know, it looks really, really beautiful. From, apparently, some of its other patterns aren't really that good. So, yeah, like, this is good. Look at that tail, though. It is awesome. And proper wrist formation, which is nice. I like it. Oh, my God, those paras are so loud. Even though these guys are just... Whoa, they're spreading out. They're like, moving out. We're going to go after these bears. Now, now it's time to get to probably my favorite of the new dinosaurs, as well as many, the Therizinosaurus. Oh, God damn it, in shadow again? Uh, whatever, who cares? Oh, oh, look at how big it is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is amazing. Look at this thing. 
Xenosaurs. Oh, that is so good. Not, those huge claws you see, they actually help to feed on vegetation. For real. But, uh, just do me one favor, okay? Don't let oh, look at it itch! Oh, that is... Oh, that is a beautiful animation. Hold on, let's just... Now, is the other eye blind? Is it blind? No, it's not. I can see it's clear. Oh, oh that would have been nice. We sh they should have given us an option where it could have been blind. But look at that face. That is a gorgeous face of a fairy. Oh, my God. And look at the feathering and how it blends into where it turns into just regular scales. Oh, that is awesome. They nailed it with the fairy. That is that is one you cannot deny is awesome. And oh my god, he was such a treasure in the movie. He had probably the one of the best scenes in like the Jurassic World franchise. Probably the entire franchise with him going after Claire and oh that poor deer though. Like I love that simple way of just like it's messing it likes nobody, but it's still a veggie. I, oh, I just love it. Look at this. It's so good. I cannot wait to do a video on him testing out his animations and stuff. Oh, look at him shit. He is he is satisfied. Look at him. He's, he's probably... Can he even go with anything? Like, let's see. Cohabitation. Judging from that, he cannot go with anything. Let's see. Likes Compsognathus. Dislikes everything okay well they made sure to make this guy accurate he's annoyed with the pyroraptors he's annoyed with the pair could he actually kill these two i don't have combat turn oh my god look how tall he is so so could he kill like them like i know he can fight some of the th dinosaurs we'll have to test him out in his own video like for all these new dinosaurs, we have to do it. But, before we go on to the two one, ones that I am dying to see, let's look at the Quetzalcoatlus, which is supposed to, Oh my god. Oh my god, that thing is... big. I don't think I have enough domes. Look at that thing. Yeah, he doesn't have enough anything. Though it can take down both. And, oh my god, he's gonna be so annoyed, like... Oh, just look at how big he is. He's a little smaller than I actually thought, but I think they had to. Oh, can you please break it? Oh, are you gonna land? Are you gonna land? Nah, I want you to... Okay, we need something for him to land on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, nope. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, does he... I hope he has, like, all of his movie roars, like that one that was in the prologue. That one was so good. Th Quet says, finally, we have a giant, a beast, something that's big, that takes command of the skies that's bigger than these guys over here. Now, let's take a look at his previous champion of the size, because Trophianagus was the biggest, even though it was classified as a medium. But let's just compare how small that is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's it guys it, it's tiny it is so tiny oh my god look hold on hold on hold on can we get a thumbnail with that uh the lighting's not great but just look at that in comparison guys look at how small it is it's amazing now it is time to look at the ones that we have been waiting for and let's start with the giganotosaurus which i believe Hold on, let me just save in case I'm wrong. I've just saved in case I got this wrong. Here is the original Giganotosaurus. With the thing glitching again. Oh, look at that. The more accurate one, despite his soulless eyes, basically. Do the roar! Oh. Like, look at that chin, though. He's got a nice one. But, 
it is time to say goodbye to this one and look at the beast, the nightmare. Oh, oh my God, are they already out? Who broke the, f who's out? Oh my God, we got Ketsas out already. Oh my God. Oh, they're all out. Oh yes. Is there anyone for them to eat? Please tell me that. Oh, look at that log. Okay, so are all the, th three out of four of the Quetzalcoatlus are escaped from their, you know, enclosure. Now, do I have the park open? Are they able to? Okay, so we have zero people. Okay, so wow, they're already out, but unfortunately we can't see them like attack people. Look at the size of that thing. It is huge, but we need to get back to looking at this beast. The new Giganotosaurus, which I hope it has its calls. Oh my god, look at this thing. It's amazing. Yes, it has its roars. Nice. Look at this thing. It's so bulky. It's so big. Where's the other one? Oh, are they gonna... Oh, thank you for coming close to each other. Like, just compare. Like, look at these guys. Yeah, he looks bulkier. Like, his arms are bigger than this guy's. I think his head's, like, bigger than this version's. But, ah. Uh, I, I love this design. It looks so dragon-like, even though, like, you know, it's not accurate at all, like, you know, in skull shape or stuff, or those spikes. I don't care. This is just awesome. And it even has its lip, if I can get him in the light. Oh, what are they going to do? Are they sizing each other up? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, he's got the lip. He's got the lip. Look at, oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, that is cool, just seeing them together. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna miss using this one, but I l prefer this design mainly because of the eye. Like, this guy, he has soulless eyes. This one, oh, look at that shadow. It's so cool. Look at it. Oh, I can't wait for it to terrorize my parks and stuff. But we are going to have to move on from you. Oh, look at that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. That might be a thumbnail. That might be a thumbnail. Look at that. Him looking off. Giga looking off into the sky. And look right there, there's a Quetzalcoatlus in the air, that's gotta be a thumbnail, unless I get something with the T-Rex and the fairy. Oh my god, that is so good, oh my god, I love it. He just watched, like, look at them terrorize the- But, now it is time to look up, oh god, why is everyone over here? First, we have the feathered T-Rex, which is quite a surprise. And we have two of them. Let's see, oh, yes, look at it. And all the pairs are like, oh my god. Except for that one who's just lying down. He's like, I'm good. Look at this. Hello, Claire. Sorry, Claire. Um, he was interrupting you. How are you sleeping, Para? What? Do you not see the two beasts in front of him? You too, Jesus. Oh my god, the Gigas are coming too. Oh, Sarah's running too. Well, she was the king of the dinosaurs, or queen in female's case. Oh, look at them. Oh, they nuzzle each other. Oh, I love this animation. Looks, oh, I just love it. It's so cute. Oh, push around you. 
Oh, uh, look at them. They're much more friendly compared to that nightmare. Oh, uh, it's meant to be. They're sizing each other up. They know their history, even though they were on separate continents and all. But, you know, that's fine. But it is time to look at the one that has should have been in this game and the first. It is time to have the Rexy in her ultimate stage, the most iconic she's been with her scars. Let's go. And of course, we're in the bad lighting. Oh, I can already see those scars. Oh, look at the fog. Look at the fog. It's amazing. Oh, that's one of the best things for this map. And let's just see. Oh my god, look at this skin. That is gorgeous. And look, look at that eye. Oh, that's Rexy's eye. That is Rexy right there with her scars. Look at the one, the ones on the legs, scratches from the Indominus on this side. Does she have any on her face? No, not on this side, actually. Uh, can you turn around? I need to see your more classic ones. Oh, wait. Oh, that's... There you go. Look at those. There they are, right on the neck. Oh, yes! Why am I most excited for just a T-Rex skin? Like, why? Well, maybe because it's Rexy. I finally have Rexy, the Jurassic World Rexy, who has terrorized the screens for the last seven years. I finally have her. Yes, I've had her Jurassic Park variant, but she wasn't the Rexy we knew. She wasn't the one who was shown marking her battles across her body. No, this one's the real Rexy. And as you can see, there is... Oh, that's a, one of the T-Rexes. Where's um, the Giga, actually? Oh, he's right there. She's not even paying attention. She doesn't need to worry about him. Oh, uh, until, you know, I get them to fight. Oh, that is just... That is amazing, but we still have one more thing to do. We're going, well, actually, no, we'll save that for another video. And also, I'll need to figure out why there's no people in this map, because I want to show Ketza eating someone, because I'm pretty sure he'll be able to swallow them whole. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at the tail and the fur on him. That is gorgeous. And also, that Ketza design's not bad, actually, for that color. Oh, he sweeps down, looking for a meal. But, guys, that... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's a trophy in Agus. Okay, that explains it. Oh, wow, these guys have all spread out through this, like... All the Pyroraptors are, like, over here. What's this? Therizinosaurus. Wow, he is still technically classified as comfortable. He, oh, nope, now he's going down. He, now he's like, I'm infused with rage. Also, guys, one little update that I'll talk about is that now you don't need um uh, one of those observers to check these out. Oh, Quetzalcoatl is broken out of the aviary. Oh, well, they're all out except for this poor trophy and I guess he's just like, nope, I'm staying in here. But guys, that is it. That is the showcase of all the new dinosaurs so far in Jurassic World Evolution 2 from the Dominion DLC. In later videos, we will do the campaign, Chaos Theory, more showcases for each of these guys, seeing if they have new sets of animations, because also, I'm pretty sure Giga and T-Rex might have a new set, because the trailer suggests they have new combative skills, which... I'm all for if that is the case. And, of course, we'll look at Therizinosaurus, Pyroraptor, Dimetrodon. We'll look at them all, see how they do against each other, and also against other iconic dinosaurs. And, well, that is going to be it. So if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And if you haven't already seen Jurassic World Dominion, do check it out before I play the campaign in the Chaos Theory, because I don't want you guys to be spoiled. And until next time, guys, as a Quetzalcoatl soars across the sky and you see these amazing new dinos, I'll see you later. Bye bye